The next thing of a look, let's, let, the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is stimulating the thymus region. There's a footnote number four on that. So let's take a look next at footnote number four. So stimulate the thymus region. The thymus region is located roughly in the center of the breastbone in the middle of your chest. To stimulate it with the fingertips of one hand held together in a cluster, thump the thymus region lightly 10 times. So let me show you how it is that you locate the thymus region. So the first thing I'd like for you to do is feel underneath your ribs right here for the bottom most rib. And then once you find that rib, just follow it all the way into the center right here. And then when you feel that notch underneath the ribs, hold that with one finger. Take your other hand and hold the finger in the hollow of your throat. Now, if you look down between these two points, approximately halfway is the thymus region. And so what we want you to do is to take and, and hold that with one point and take your five fingers to the other hand and cluster them together like this and then lightly thump the thymus region 10 times, okay? And once we get that done, that has, as Dr. Diamond says in Your Body Doesn't Lie, that stimulates the energy regulator of the body, okay? So it's also a very healthful thing to do. You, every, you, if, you're, uh, um, if you pay real close attention, every once in a while you might see somebody just tapping their thymus region because what it is is, is a bit of an energy booster, okay? All right, uh, let's see what's next on the follow the yellow brick road approach. And then the next thing it says is to rotate your shoulders, slowly stretch the arms, and then rotate them again. So like we were doing uh, earlier on when we were doing jet casual testing, we start, and let me adjust the camera here. We start by uh, rotating the shoulders and then raising our hands way up above the head like that. And then nice and steady and slow and tight and feel the stretch coming down at approximately this speed and coming down, keeping that stretch nice and tight, nice and tight. You'll feel some burning in there. That's blood flow coming in. And then rotate the shoulders either frontward or backward, whichever way is more comfortable to you. Just kind of shake it up a little bit, okay? All right. So now that we have our warm-up process done, let me make sure I get my camera adjusted here again. Okay, now that we have the warm-up process done, we're going to be moving into Section number two, qualifying. It says the first thing is to review the train the brain principles. And so that is uh, one through four of document D using the bar. And that's, that's the document that you have uh, uh, studied again and again and again. And paragraphs one through four are about training the brain. So again, as we get into this muscle testing, what we want to be able to do is to be mindful of what's going on in our mind as we're doing all of these other aspects of testing. And if you have any negative thoughts, zap them with a cue card, okay? Okay, next thing we're going to do is, it says here, it says warm up with number five, number six, and number seven of document D, but don't set a baseline. So in number five, what we do is we learn how to do the pull again. Number six, we get the speed of the pull down. And number seven, we set a comfortable baseline, okay? Now, once we've done that, then we don't need to actually set the baseline because when we test the poor food versus the good food, it's going to be done in a little bit different of a fashion. So let's take a look at that. It says, next, test the artificial candy and then write the reading down here. And then the line below that says, test natural food and write the reading here. So let's take a look at Navigator, line number six and line number seven and see what Navigator has to say about that. And there we are, number six and number seven. First thing is test artificial candy. It says test Skittles candy, either a sample under the tongue or hold onto the package with your teeth like you've learned. Pull steady and even with a good, strong pull. This is not a comfortable baseline pull. And record the reading from the tester. So let's go ahead and do that next. We're, we're just gonna go ahead and do that test. So here I am, I've got my tester. My baseline's marked off to the side. It's not really necessary right now. And so now that I've warmed up, I've got my good comfortable feel, I'm gonna start off with my Skittles. And this time, as I pull, 
it's going to be a good strong pull. So for me, that was about 90% of my strength, 80 to 90% of my strength, okay? So again, I want to reiterate, when we're qualifying, we're doing good strong pulls. And then in number seven, it said to go ahead and do another good strong pull, but this time on a portion of, good food, of, of wholesome food. So here we go again. Good strong pull. I set aside my opinion on this product right now. Okay. Okay, and that was the same good strong pull. And so since I was at 180, 185 to be exact, and then on the good strong pull on the good food, I was at about 215. I'm going to write it down right here. Okay. And so if we take a look at where we're at, here we are, artificial candy, reading of 180, natural food, reading of 215. And then the next line says, was the natural food at least 10 points higher than the candy? And we have to give that a yes. So if it's yes, then you're in a testable state and go to number three. And that would be up here, and then we got the green light go for doing whatever testing we need. But if you don't have a 10 point higher on the natural food than the candy, and, you, and that's a no, then don't test yet. Go to the adjustments down below. And of course, that's where we're headed next. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the adjustments. Um, the first thing to keep in mind is that if, if you are in an emotionally stressed state, it's probably one of the things that are getting in the way of you having um, uh, responding appropriately on a poor food versus a good food. So the first thing to do is to settle down your mind. And in doing so, that may be just a couple of minutes of meditation or just closed eyes and deep, calm breathing and uh, perhaps, um, perhaps uh, uh, putting on some music for a little bit, just de-stress a little bit, okay? And there are a couple of other things uh, for you to take a look at, and so let's go ahead and see what the Yellow Brick Road tells you to do. The, uh, the thing to keep in mind is that these remedies work about three out of four times, okay? And so we'll show you what to do if in case it doesn't work uh, for you when you use the remedies. But first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the remedies. The first thing it says was, was your technique correct? And give more attention to your technique. And footnote number eight next to that. So let's take a look at Navigator. Often scores are skewed by a slight change to your test position. So review number five, which is document D. In, in other words, especially when you're new at this, uh, it comes down to making sure that you get that just right feel down, okay? And in this case, because we're not doing a comfortable baseline, but rather a full strength pull, or not 100%, but like I said, I was at about 90%. I mean, I could really feel some strain there. Uh, the reason why we do that, by the way, is because we don't want... Um, we don't want uh, maybe any little vacillation from that comfortable baseline feel. Like, let's say you're just not quite tuned into that just right feel. What we prefer is that we give good, strong pulls because then we get very, very clear readings on the poor food versus the good food, which is your qualifier. Now, speaking of qualify, why is it would, would we want you to qualify for testing? Well, this is why. If you are not in a testable state, either because of blood sugar or lack of focus or stress, then your scores uh, are invalid. In fact, sometimes they can even be reversed, which is really serious because then you're making decisions to do something on you that you shouldn't be doing and vice versa. And so it's an always, 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 always thing to do is to make sure you're in a testable state, OK? 